Hey peeps, welcome back. For today's video, I'm gonna be making over these little charcuterie cutting boards that my mom got for me. I'm really excited, so let's get started. I'll be using these two colors for the handles. And here's my little recycled paint palette. What I'm doing now is I'm drawing out some lines. And this is gonna be a good guide for me to use as I start drawing or painting this little paintbrush. Does that make any sense, painting a paintbrush? I guess it'll just have to make sense for today. I'll be using these colors for the metal part of the paintbrush. I feel like this paint's getting a little old because it really needed a lot of shaking. I think it was sitting for too long. So I'm going to use the light gray for the base color of the metal and then I'll use the silver as a way to add details. Sorry about that guys, I am so immature. <laughs> Also, I decided that I was gonna move my little squirrel pens. Even though they're so adorable, I needed a spot to hold my tools. And this part of it was probably my favorite. I don't know why. When I paint with black paint, it's just so satisfying. It covers everything so nicely, and it just looks so good. Then I went ahead and did the same thing for the larger charcuterie boards. And I thought like having a paintbrush this big was dramatic, but I actually went to a hardware store and they had giant paintbrushes like this. It was insane. So this actually isn't far-fetched to have a paintbrush this big. What's the biggest paintbrush you've ever seen? Let me know in the comments below. All right, and here they are. The first layer is dried. Here I'm just adding some details to the handle. Gonna try to get that wood effect. And I didn't do this really well, I don't think at all. This is not the way that wood flows naturally. Wood kind of goes in like big loops. Whereas this, I kind of have it sporadically all over the place, but I did my best. And then I applied a silver paint where the handle will be to try to make that contrast to look like it's 3D and popping out a little bit. I find that using a dotting tool for this really does help get those tiny, finer details. So just a artist tip. And again, my paint kept farting. <laughs> my maturity level is crashing by the second, I apologize. And then with the white paint, what I'm doing is I'm gonna do a blend of white and black to kind of make a smeared gray look to almost look like bristles. And here I am doing the same thing for the big brush. Now I did this for all four of them. I just showed one small and one large so you can kind of get an idea. And the same for the wooden handle. It just shows you can make art with pretty much anything. You don't have to just use a canvas. As you can see with the paintbrush, it doesn't make as straight lines as the dotting tool, but it is faster. And I decided to use puffy paint or slick paint in order to make it look like it has these big globs of paint on them. This kind of reminded me of those videos you'll see on uh, TikTok or YouTube where um, the people are decorating the cookies and they have to fill it in with the, I think they use royal icing to make the details on the top. Whatever they use, it's so satisfying to watch. I just love those videos. And for this one, I decided to go with a yellow puffy paint. I wanted to use all of the primary colors and also green. And also those are all that I had available in my drawer. But out of the three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, which one's your favorite? I think out of all the primary colors, my favorite one or ones would have to be red and blue because they make purple and that's my favorite color. I wanted to zoom in on these for you so then you could see it up close because it is really satisfying to watch. 
And the white, when I put it through, it kind of makes those shiny, kind of 3D effects where it will pop a little bit. And last but not least, we have the green. I don't know why, but the green was having such a hard time coming out of this little bottle. It took me a really long time to do this, and my hand was cramping really badly. But no pain, no gain, right? Then I used the little um, dotting tool that I had to kind of smooth it out a little bit. And I wanted to fix up that one smudge. I didn't like how it looked. I made such a mess at that corner. It bugged me so much and it still bugs me, but trying to fix it would have been pure chaos. Here is an acrylic paint marker. And I'm gonna go through and make the handle of the brush, the metal of the brush, and the bristles all stand out too. I did end up doing this to all of the paint brushes as well. And also I did wanna let everyone who subscribed and commented what their favorite cartoon was to let you know, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna put your shout out here at the end of the video. So let me know if you see your name or if I missed you, please. And thank you again so much. You all are awesome. So here's our little paintbrush charcuterie boards. Which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel, hitting that notification bell. Bye.